So do you have a Mac mini and have an iPad laying around? Or do you have a Mac mini and have an iMac, an older one that you're not using? Or do you wanna go completely portable on your Mac mini and not use any monitors, but just use your iPad as a monitor? Well, I have the perfect device for you guys. I have this little small device called Luna Display, guys. It'll make your monitor, your iPad, a secondary monitor, so you can just use that around the house, or you can use it as a completely headless mode on your Mac Mini and go to different places on the go. This is what it looks like. It's a small device, it can make all that happen. Guys, I have a lot to uncover today. I'll put a table of contents so you can jump around to different parts of the video, but let's go ahead and get started with the setup. So I got this Luna Display device for about $79 on AstroPad's website. Guys, so all you do is go ahead and set it up on your computer. You plug it in to your Mac Mini, and then you're able to make your iPad your secondary display, or you're able to make your, uh, your Mac Mini and your MacBook Air uh, talk to each other with two displays, or make your Mac Mini and your iMac uh, where the iMac is a secondary display, you can make that all happen with this little device. But I know you guys ask me, like, Mark, I'm, I see the Luna display, but I can do all this with Sidecar. Well, you can do a lot with Sidecar, and I'm gonna show you how to do some things with Sidecar because I like uh, Sidecar's wireless mode. It's actually a little bit better than this, I think. Uh, if you don't have great Wi-Fi, then you're probably better off to go with uh, Sidecar's, um, um, Sidecar's wireless display. But the Luna display has a lot of good features that Sidecar doesn't have. For one, if you have an iPad or a MacBook Air or MacBook Pro 12 or earlier, if it's 2012 or earlier, then it's not going to work with Sidecar. Or if you want to use your iPad as your Mac Mini's only monitor, so it can be completely portable, which means you could take your Mac Mini to Starbucks, just plug it in, and you just have your iPad as the monitor. If you want to do that, uh, Sidecar doesn't do that. And lastly, Sidecar doesn't, you can have with this Luna device, you can have your iPad as a secondary device for your Windows computer. Sidecar doesn't do that either. So this device is very worth it, very worth it. And I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up right now. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Let's go. All right guys, so setting up the Luna Display device is pretty easy. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna download some software on our primary device. And our primary device here is gonna be my Mac Mini. And then next we wanna download software on our secondary device. And my secondary is gonna be my iPad fifth generation. So let's go ahead and download the, the software for our primary device. Let's go ahead and do it. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna go ahead and go to lunadisplaydevice.com slash start. So let's go ahead and put that in. I, already, I should have that in already. So it's lunadisplay.com slash start. We'll go ahead and hit enter, it's gonna be it's astropad.com. Let's go and expand this. And it's pretty self-explanatory. It says Luna Display supports multiple platforms. We will guide you through downloading the right apps uh, for your devices. And you see the illustrations here, primary device and your secondary device. And then you have step one, get the Luna primary uh, app, download the desktop app for your primary computer. Luna is plugged into your primary computer. So in this case, we're gonna use a Mac because uh, my primary device is my Mac mini. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Mac and it's downloading right now. Depending on your internet speed, it shouldn't take too long at all. So it is done, it's completed. So that's step one. So again, everything is self-explanatory, just follow the steps, guys. And step two down here says, get the Luna, uh, get the Luna secondary app. And this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get that on our iPad. So what I'm gonna do on my iPad, I'm just gonna go to the App Store and I'm gonna download uh, the Luna Display app from the App Store. All right, so let's go back to step one. I've already downloaded I'm gonna go up here and click click this. And I have the Luna display here. It's 48.3 megabytes. Go ahead and double click that. All right, you can see Luna display here. So I'm gonna move this app into the folder, into the applications folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold it and move it to the applications folder. All right, so that's all good. I'll go ahead and X out of this and we'll go to go. Then I'm going to go all the way down to where it says applications. So I'm going to click on applications and Luna display should be in here and it's right here. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on this. 
All right, it says Lunar Display is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Yes, we want to open it. I'm going to click on open. And it says, welcome to Lunar Display. To get started, we will need to install the Lunar app on your iPad or your secondary Mac. All right, so I'm going, I'm going to go ahead and click on setup. All right, so it says, so we got to enable accessibility. It says allow Lunar Display to control your computer for Lunar Display to have uh, to, to behave as a mouse and a keyboard. You will need to enable accessibility features. So let's go ahead and, and do that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and enable. It's going to take me to Luna Display would like to control your computer. I'm going to open up system settings. I'm going to click on that. And it's giving me like a little preview of what to do here. So you can follow that. And it also tells you what to do in steps. So I'm going to click on open system system preferences. And I'm going to unlock the preference pane. Now, what you'll see here, you'll see Luna Display. And when you click this radio button to enable it, it's going to prompt you for a password. So I'm going to put my password in and then hit modify settings and then we're good now it says all set and i'm gonna click on next so i have this accessibility down pack i got that ready to go now it's saying we have to enable screen recording so it says allow screen recording for luna to behave as a display it needs to have access to your content of your screen so it says your privacy is protected we do uh, not save any, any of the data we use when this feature is enabled okay so i'm gonna hit click on enable and it's going to show you some steps of what to do uh, it says open system preferences go to security and privacy panel and click on the privacy tab and it says click on screen recordings and then we're going to enable it so we're going to go to system preferences and we're going to, go to security and privacy so i'm going to click on the apple here go to system preferences and then what i'll do is go down to it says security and privacy so click on that and then i'm going to i'm going to where it says screen recordings click on that and then Luna, this radio button right here needs to be clicked to the right. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to prompt, it should prompt me for my, no, not this one. This one didn't prompt me for my password. So I'm going to go ahead and click on quit and reopen. All right, so I'm going to X out of that. And now that we, we got that down packed, we got that taken care of, I'm going, it says plug the Luna into your computer. I'm going to plug this into my computer. It should take an update. We'll see here. So I'm plugging into the we're plugging into the back of my Mac Mini. All right. So plug into the back of the Mac Mini. One of the USB-C ports back there, or Thunderbolt ports. So plug it in now. All right. So now it's saying it's open. Now usually when you plug this device in, it will take an update. So if it's updating right now, that's just fine. But I've plugged this in before and I've had it working already. So it's not as the, the device itself is already updated. So right now it says open Luna on your iPad or your secondary Mac and, and we'll go from there. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to get my iPad out and I'm going to go ahead and download the Luna app. Just like I told you guys, this is this process is, is is very easy. All right, so I'm just going to open up my iPad here. And what we're going to do is we're going to download Luna uh, Display on the iPad. Now you can either go to the website or you can just go to your app store and download it. So we're going to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to app store. I'm going to type in Luna and that should pull up Luna Display. I see Luna Display here. Go ahead and click that. And I've already downloaded it. So I'm going to click on the cloud to re-download it here. And it should download fairly quickly. All right. Now it says open. Now, as soon as it says open, uh, it should automatically try to access devices on your network. Like I, now, um, I just one thing I did forget to say, you got to make sure that you're on the same Wi-Fi and make sure that your your iPad and your Mac mini is on the same Wi-Fi, because if they're not on the same Wi-Fi, then the Luna device is not going to work. All right. So my Mac mini and my uh, my iPad is on the same network. So let's go ahead and open this. And once it opens, it's going to start looking for your devices It's actually pretty quickly. All right. So let's go ahead and hit open. It says Luna Display, turn your iPad into a wireless second uh, display for Mac and PC. And it says buy. I've already bought it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and hit I am a Luna Display owner. And now it's going to ask me, Luna Display would like to find and connect to devices on your local network. 
and it says don't allow don't allow or allow so this is where we're going to allow and it's going to search for devices it's going to search for that mac mini that the luna software is already activated on so let's go ahead and hit allow and that should pull everything up so i'm hit allow and it should pull everything up so look at your computer screen now i'm gonna go back to my mac mini and it says, uh, look on my iPad, it says, look at your computer screen attempting to connect to my, my name here, Marquez's Mini. And then here it says, allow iPad to wirelessly connect to your computer. So I'm gonna hit allow. And there we have it here. So this is a secondary device and I'm using my main mouse. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit uh, just the left of my computer Go ahead and get rid of this here. All right, and hit left. This is just the arrangement. I'm gonna hit X. And then here's my second monitor for my Mac mini. All right, guys, real quick, I wanna talk more about the display here. All right, so here's my primary uh, display. This is connected to my Mac mini. And here's the secondary monitor, which is gonna be my iPad here, guys. I'm go ahead and click uh the range is left so I'm go ahead and exit out of here now let's go to a website guys I just kind of want to go over the gestures so I'm going to click on my main one here and here's the website now it's a little bit delayed on the iPad because the Wi-Fi the Wi-Fi the Wi-Fi in here is a little bit poor so but I'm just showing you how it interchanges it can go from this display it can go to this display no problem and it's not it's not unbearable. I mean, it, it, you know, it works, but if you need to be faster, just move closer to your router. All right. Now, as far as, let's see if we can put, it doesn't have an on-screen keyboard. Now, I believe uh, you have to pay for an AstroPad Studio, the little application, but you can use your keyboard here. You can use your keyboard here or you can use your mouse around the house if you want to have an on-screen keyboard uh, uh, for your for your iPad here. But I have some some already key phrases in here. But you can use two fingers, guys, to scroll. Like I just said, so you just you can use two fingers to scroll. You go up and down, and you can use your you know you can use your hand to move the windows. That's cool. That's you know you, you can use your you can use a touch screen as a secondary monitor now. Now, another cool thing here, let's go ahead and minimize everything. You can swap from the left to the middle and it'll give you your quality of your Wi-Fi. So right now, mine is saying low quality, if you guys can see that. So I'm sure if I move closer to my router, it'll, it'll increase the high quality and then I'm able to, it, it won't be a, a, a huge delay. It'll be pretty, it'll be pretty snappy and pretty fast. All right, so right now it's telling me the brightness, it's telling me the battery of my iPad, and it's telling me my displays. This right here is gonna be the main display, and then you have, which is the iPad is gonna be here, it's, it's left arranged. So, you know, that's pretty clear there. But this is essentially how you use it, guys. I just wanted to show you, you can use this around your house. Uh, if you do have a, a keyboard that attaches to your iPad, you can use the trackpad on that keyboard. So you can take this outside around the house. You can use that trad pack in that keyboard, guys, uh, to navigate different websites. But it doesn't have an on-screen keyboard. Like if I, if I were to touch it, let me use my mouse here for the main display. Like all right, it doesn't have an on. If I were to touch it here, you're not going to see an on-screen keyboard appear. And the Apple Pencil, I thought the Apple, Apple Pencil was more of a a navigator as well, but I don't think so. And if I am doing it wrong, I'll let you guys know, but I don't think so. It's more of just, I can click something and it'll, it'll click and it'll pull up here. But it there you go. But other than that, that's, this is pretty cool guys. Um, this, you can use this around your house. You can just go in your backyard if you need to. Uh, anywhere that has good Wi-Fi, you can use your main Mac mini on your iPad with no issues. All right. All right, so next, let me go ahead and show you how to plug your USB directly into your iPad and your Mac Mini to make it even faster. All right, guys, so if you wanna use a hardwired connection instead of going wireless on your iPad, 
you can get that done with a USB-C cable. Just plug this USB-C cable into the back of your Mac Mini to the Thunderbolt port and plug the other end into your iPad. Then you will have a hardwired connection and it'll be much faster. You won't have any type of delay. Uh, it's just the only thing is you just can't go around the house with it, but let's go ahead and, and knock that out real fast. Right now, I still have both monitors. I have the main monitor and I have my iPad as my secondary monitor. So let's go ahead and plug this in. So I'm gonna plug this in right here into the back of my Mac Mini. Uh, well, let's plug this in because it's a different port. So, all right, so I plug that into the back of my Mac Mini. I'm gonna plug this in right here into the back of my iPad. And let's see what it does. I did recognize it. And then automatically it just it recognized it. So if I pull up the Luna, it should say a hardwired device now. So let me see if I can pull up the Luna app. Uh, pull that back up. Oh, it's right here. All right, so I can pull that up. And what it says right here, I'll, bring, I'll put it on a big screen. It says USB. So the USB is now connected. So it, just did, it did it automatically. And it's, it's really fast. So we can go back here. Let me, so I can lift this up for you, for you guys. And, and it's snappy. There's no delays. It's going quick, guys. I'm left, right, back and forth. It's, it's pretty good. All right. So... If you are having delays, if you don't have a, a, a good quality, uh, you can always plug it in. You can just plug it in, it'll, it'll just recognize it, and then there you have it. So I'm going to unplug it. And now it's back to, it automatically switched back to Wi-Fi. We'll see it here, it says Wi-Fi now. It automatically switched back. All right, so that's how you plug it in hardwire. And what I, I can do here just for extra, let's go ahead and close out of everything. And then I'm just gonna plug in the hardwire just to show you how it goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and close out of this. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of it here. Just to be thorough here. All right, so I'm out of it. So just to do it hardwire, what I'm going to do is make sure you always have your, your Luna display adapter plugged in. I'm going to go ahead and pull it up. Say so open Luna on your iPad, or your secondary device. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Open it and it's going to connect automatically if, to wireless. But if I have it just plugged in here, it'll just automatically connect hardwire. This down here should connect hardwire and it did. It says uh, USB now, so it'll automatically do it. And it's just blazing fast, guys. You can pull up websites and you're on the go. Uh, let's do Bear. Uh, just pulling up Bear and it's, it's just, it's going pretty, it's going very fast. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to do the headless mode for your Mac Mini and your iPad. Now, the headless mode is when you want to just use your iPad as the only monitor. Basically, you're omitting the big monitor here. You're using your iPad as the only monitor to your Mac Mini. Now, this is a, a great advantage because that means you can take this pretty much anywhere. Now, we're going to do it through a USB-C cord, so you don't need the Wi-Fi. So if you're at Starbucks and you can't get onto that Wi-Fi, you can still use this device. This, you can still use your iPad as your primary monitor. So let's go ahead and get into that. First, you wanna download the primary app. I'm just gonna to go to uh, Luna Display here. You can always go back to the setup, just hop around. Let's go ahead and download the primary app, guys. Uh, uh, right now, I have it set for Mac Mini, so go ahead and download Mac. And you just need, if you need to go back to the setup, just go back to the setup and download it. So after you have everything downloaded and you went through the prompts and everything, what we're going to do now to get the headless mode to work, guys, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go to system preferences. And I got two options to, to, to change here. 
All right, so the first option, we'll go to system settings and we'll make sure we'll go down to where it says, let's go to where it says privacy and security. And then let's go down to where it says file vault. I wanna make sure right now it's turned off. I wanna make sure this is off. So it says to turn it on, but it's off, so that's good. So make sure your file vault is turned off and you'll see where it says turn on. That's indicating that it's off. All right, so second, what I wanna do is I wanna go down to where it says users and groups. All right, so where it says users and groups, it says automatically log in as. So I'm gonna click on this here. I'm gonna click my name. My name is Marquez. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and click on the password. You have to be prompt for your password. And that's changed there. It says my full name now. So now I'm ready to set up the, the iPad uh, with the uh, with the Mac Mini, just this as a monitor. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go and get my USB. Now what I'm gonna do, just I'm gonna turn the Wi-Fi off. Let me, well, let's go and connect it first and I'll turn the Wi-Fi off and then I'll show you how you can pull up your iPad as a primary monitor without the this uh, without this display and without the Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and click, let's go ahead and uh, plug it in. Pull up Luna here. Let's pull up Luna. And what I'll do is I'll plug it into my computer. Make sure you have your device plugged into your computer. So I'm gonna plug the Luna device into the computer. All right, Luna's up now. So I'm on my on my iPad, I'm gonna go ahead and turn Oops. Now my iPad, I'm gonna go ahead and turn in my Luna. Go ahead and put it in. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. All right, now the Luna's on my iPad and now it's on. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the other end of my USB-C cable and I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in here. so it's plugged in and now what I'm gonna do guys now what I can do is I can go and unplug my HDMI cord going to this monitor right here and this should go ahead and and change to my primary monitor so I can essentially turn my Mac mini off and then turn it back on and then this primary uh, uh, this primary monitor will come on, which is my iPad. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and disconnect my HDMI cord now. It's disconnected, and guys, right now I'm the I'm in the primary monitor here. Is my my primary monitor is my iPad. So that's pretty cool, guys. Let me see if you guys can see it. Primary monitor is my iPad, but guys, we can see my Wi-Fi is still on. So I just want to just turn this off. Wi-Fi is just turned off and look it says USB here you guys can see it says USB and my primary monitor is still my iPad I can take this essentially anywhere and do any type of work here guys on my iPad when I'm out and about if I'm at an airport if I'm out in the woods I can just do this as long as I have a power source I'm good to go no Wi-Fi it's just a straight USB-C connection and we are good to go now, if I want to turn my Mac Mini off, I can turn it completely off and I can turn it back on and this will pop back up, guys. It doesn't need a second monitor. I know on that's lim the limitation of Sidecar. Sidecar can't go into full headless mode. You need to have another monitor as well. Uh, and that's just, that's just more fail points, more equipment to carry with you. That's the great thing about the Luna Display. You can just do it like this, have this little device plugged in and you're good to go guys that is unbelievable all right so that is that is incredible i can just take my mac my mac mini is now just like a laptop all right let's uh let's go ahead and move on all right guys real quick i just want to show you how it looks when i separate my mac mini and my ipad from my main monitor so this is headless mode and it's completely portable here 
I even turned the Wi-Fi off and the only thing connecting the Mac mini in the iPad is a USB-C cable right here. All right, so this is what it looks like. You can take this to, again, you can take this to Starbucks. You can take it in the woods. It doesn't, nece it doesn't necessarily have to have Wi-Fi, but this is basically my iPad acting as a monitor. And it's completely headless. I know I had it headless uh, at my at my other desk, but I'm just kind of showing you what it will look like when there's no other monitors around. So it looks pretty good here. And it's pretty fast, guys. Pretty snappy. All right, guys, so for the next step, I'm gonna show you how to connect a Mac to another Mac using the Luna Display. Now, in my scenario, I have a Mac Mini it's going to connect to my MacBook Air. Now you can also have a Mac, a Mac Mini that connects to an iMac or a MacBook Air that connects to an iMac. But the whole thing is that the whole thing about it is you're going to have a Mac connect to another Mac. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and download. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and download Luna Display on my primary computer, which is going to be my Mac Mini. And then I'm going to download a secondary uh, application or software on my MacBook Air. And then we'll go ahead and plug the Luna Display in and I'll show you guys how to uh, go between the two. Let's go ahead and do it. All right. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and let's go. I'm going to go to. Let's do Astro Pad. Let's do slash downloads. So astropad.com slash downloads. Then I'm going to go to where it says Luna Display Hardware Enabled. Uh, it says turn on your Mac, PC, iPad to a second display. I'm going to hit continue. And then we'll see. Let me go ahead and blow this up. Uh, we'll see what it says. Luna Display supports multiple platforms. We will guide you through the downloading the right apps for your devices. Okay. All right, so step one, get the, get the Luna primary app. This is gonna be on your primary desktop here. So I don't, I'm not using the Windows right now, so I'm gonna hit Mac. And it's, it's already just downloading here to the right. All right, and we'll go ahead and open this up. And I'm gonna take this Luna display to my application file. And this is there, I'll go ahead and exit out now. Then I'm gonna go to go up here at the top and I'll go down where it says applications. All right. And then I see it right here, the Luna, uh, Luna display. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click that. And it says open. I mean, I'm sorry, it says cancer open and Luna display is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Yes. So we're gonna open it and it says set up, hit set up. All right. So it's accessibility settings. We need to allow the accessibility settings here so we can, uh, so our mouse and our keyboard can behave with the Luna display device here. So I'm going to hit enable. It says I need to go to open system settings, hit open system settings here. All right. So in my system settings, it, it open it open automatically. So I'm going to hit where it says Luna display. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit this radio button and I'm going to turn it on. Now it's going to prompt me for my security code. I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. Hit modify settings. We're good. So I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, next. Now I need to enable screen recording here. So it says allow screen recording. So it says your privacy is protected. We do not save any data, any data we use when uh, this feature is enabled. So for a Luna display to behave as, as a display, it needs to have access to your content uh, on the screen. So I'm going to hit enable and it tells you where to go. It says I need to go to screen preferences and then security and privacy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to hit enable here. And I'm going to go to where it says screen preferences. Let's go. Well, sorry. First, I need to go to um, privacy, privacy and security. Then I need to go to screen recording. And now I see a Luna display. I'm going to go ahead and click this radio button to on. And it says Luna display has access to your screen now. So that's all good. And here I'm just going to go quit and reopen. All right, so now it's saying plug the Luna device into the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it into my Mac Mini here. Now, I've already uh, installed this, so it's, it's probably not going to take the update, but when you plug it in, it may take the update. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and plug this in now. All right, so it's saying open Luna on your iPad or secondary Mac. So it's all, we're all good here. Once you see this screen, you're good to go. 
All right, so let's go ahead and go to my MacBook Air and download a secondary application. So I'm gonna Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to AstroPad. I'm already here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put AstroPad, AstroPad.com slash downloads. I'm gonna go down, same way. We'll go to Luna Display. Go ahead and click continue. And then I'm gonna go down to where it says step two. It says get the Luna secondary app. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get it for Mac. So I'm not using it for the iPad this time, just a Mac. I'm going to click on that. All right, and that's downloading right now. We'll wait for it to come up here. Okay, so that's downloaded. I'm going to click on that. Double click on it here. Move this over to applications. We're good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out now. And I'm gonna go to go. And then I'm gonna go to where it says applications. And then the Luna secondary. So it says Luna secondary. This is says in my, in my uh, Mac mini, it says Luna display as an app. But in my MacBook Air, it says Luna secondary. So make sure you have them in the right spot. Make sure you're downloading the right app uh, software. So I'm gonna double click it now. Hit open. And that's essentially what you do for that, for both of these. So now it's acting, now it's acting as a, a second display. All right, it's, it's telling me if I wanna do uh, left or right, I'm gonna hit left. So when I go to the left, I have a display right here. All right, it is a little delays on the Wi-Fi, but guys, that's, that's what it looks like. This is the second display. Let's go ahead and move a window over here. So I got basically app to app. And there we have it here. That's pretty cool. So you can go app to app, and you can do this vice versa. Um, if you have a MacBook Air, you want to, you, and you have an iMac. Now with an iMac, um, if you don't have any USB-C ports, you can always plug an Ethernet port in there to make it f even faster. But uh, right here, this is Wi-Fi. This it's going. It's it's okay as far as the the delay, and that's because my Wi-Fi is not great in this in this uh, room here. But if I want to make this a little bit faster, a little bit more snappy, if I'm not going to be moving my, 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 my laptop anywhere, we can use a USB-C cord. So let's go ahead and let me get my USB-C cord. All right, guys, so I have the USB-C cable here. Now, again, make sure that your Mac Mini and your MacBook Air, or if you have a MacBook Air and you have a, a, an iMac or a MacBook Pro, make sure that they're all on the same Wi-Fi. All right, so make sure they all have the same SSID, okay? Now what I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. So right now it's on Wi-Fi and it's, it's slightly delayed here. You know, it's, it's, not too, it's not too bad actually on this one. It's moving pretty smooth, but if you wanna just make it very fast, then I would recommend a direct connection. Now if you have a, a, a Mac mini and you have like an old school iMac uh, and that doesn't have USB-C, you can always use ethernet. Just plug an ethernet cord in the back of your Mac mini and then plug an ethernet cord into the back of your iMac and that's a direct connection there. So what we're gonna do here guys is I'm gonna plug it into my Mac mini and plug it into my MacBook Air. Now it may not do it automatically like when I had it from my Mac mini to my iPad, but we may have to uh, do a couple of things here. May, uh, may have to unplug it, replug it, turn it off and turn it back on the app. So let's go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in here, USB-C port and I'm plug one in to my MacBook Air. All right. And what that did, that automatically just turned it off. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to X out of both. So I'm gonna quit the Luda Max. I'm quitting it on the primary display, this app. And I'm gonna go ahead and hold the escape button so I can click it, I can quit it on the secondary app. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug my USB-C cable from the Mac mini and plug it back in. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and go to go, click on my desktop here, and I'm gonna hit go. And then we'll go down to where it says applications. We're going to open up Luna Display, double click it. All right, it says open Luna on your iPad or your secondary Mac. So I'm going to go to my secondary Mac, which is my MacBook Air. I'm going to open up Luna Secondary and let's see if it does it here. If it doesn't, I'm going to go ahead and take the USB-C cord out of the Mac Mini again and put it back in. Let's see what it does. All right, so now I see it, it says USB here. You guys probably can't see it, but it says USB, indicating that it's a USB connection, guys. So it's a direct connection from my Mac Mini to my MacBook Air, and see how fast it's going, guys. It's snappy. It's really snappy going back and forth. You see it here. And it's, it's working just fine. There's no delay whatsoever. That is good to go. So that is a hardwire connection there, going from Mac to Mac. So hardwire, so if you have a Mac Mini going to a MacBook Air here, you can have a Mac Mini going to an iMac, Mac Mini going to a, a MacBook Pro, you can have a MacBook Pro going to a, an iMac. So you can have all different combinations of uh, Mac computers here, all right? All right, guys, so for the last scenario, I wanna show you how to hook up your iPad to your Windows computer. So your, your iPad can act as a secondary monitor to your Windows computer. So this is where this little device right here, you know, this is where it shines, guys. So you can essentially go from a, a Windows computer to an iPad. You can, you can make those talk together and make them combine, all right? So that's actually, you know, pretty cool. Uh, this is a Microsoft Surface uh, 7 Plus, and this is just an iPad Air 5. So let's go ahead and let me show you how to do it. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna go online on the, this is gonna be my primary computer. My, my Luna device, my, my Luna display device is gonna be plugged into my iPad. I'm sorry, plugged into my, um, my Windows computer here. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and go online. Let's, and I'm gonna go to astropad slash, I'm astropad.com slash downloads. So let's go ahead and do that slash downloads okay so I brought it up and I'm gonna go down to where it says Luna display that's the hardware that I have all right then I'm gonna go down to where it says my primary app uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be Windows instead of Mac so I'm gonna go ahead and click on Windows and now it's downloading doesn't take much all right so then i'm going to go ahead and double click that all right so i so said do you do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device i'm gonna hit yes all right it says welcome to luna display setup wizard i'm gonna hit yes i'm sorry i'm gonna hit next I'm gonna hit next again, and I'm gonna hit install. And now it's installing it on my system. All right, so it's done and it says launch Luna display. I'm gonna hit finish here. And it should automatically launch it. If not, I'll just pull it up. All right, so it's automatically launched. It says, welcome to Luna Display, hit setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit setup. And it says, about, uh, about to install drivers to act as a graphic tablet, a graphics tablet. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit install. It's installing support. Do you want, uh, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes. I'm so I'll click on yes, and it's installing, it's installing support with the drivers. All right, so it's telling me to plug in Luna into the PC. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. Now I have plugged this into this PC before, so it may not take the update or it may take the update, guys. So if yours takes an update, don't worry, that's, that's normal. So I'm going to plug this into my USB-C port. All right, so now it says device is setting up, so device set up. It says, please wait, this may take a minute. It's 
taking his time. It says your screen may flash while uh, we update your Luna. So if your screen flashes, don't worry, that's normal. We're still waiting here. screen is still flashing all right so it says something went wrong but I'm gonna go ahead and hit next and see if I can get away with that well now it says get Luna for iPad or your secondary Mac so it says something went wrong but I'm gonna still go to the next step because let's see if we can omit that so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to my, I'm gonna get my iPad and I'm gonna uh, go ahead and put my code in here all right so I'm gonna get the Luna secondary app. So what I'm gonna do for this, I'm just gonna go to the app store and download the Luna secondary app here. So I'm gonna go to app store and I've already downloaded this before, so it should just pull it up. So Luna, type in Luna, Luna display. Yep, it's already got the cloud, so I'm gonna hit download. All right, and open. All right, so now uh, I'm gonna hit where it says, I am a Luna display owner. So I'm gonna click that. And it should essentially start to come up by itself. It says Luna display would like to find and connect to devices on your local network. I'm gonna hit allow. And it should essentially try to come up itself and we'll see. I'm gonna hit, uh, now I'm gonna go back to my Windows computer. I'm gonna hit next. And I see what it does here. It says, uh, approve the client iPad to connect. This is on my Windows computer. So I'm gonna approve the client iPad to connect, hit yes. It says Luna is setting up. Let's see what it does. It says the screen may flash a few times. I do see where it says Wi-Fi on here. And it's still setting up, so we'll see what it does. And so now it finally finished. It, it definitely takes a little bit longer on the Windows computer, but now you see guys, I can go back and forth here. And this is over Wi-Fi. And it's actually pretty fast on the Windows. It's almost as faster on the Windows computer than uh than the Mac over Wi-Fi. So here, I mean same thing. So you guys can see it here. So I'll bring my Windows computer right here and bring it over. And it's actually pretty fast. Open up Firefox, another one. Just type in uh, Google. And that's pretty snappy, guys. That's cool. So essentially, you have a Windows computer that is talking to an iPad, that the second monitor is an iPad. So if you got these devices laying around, you have if you want to purchase this Luna app, guys, I, I got it for seventy nine dollars. Hey, it, I think it's worth it. Um, now next, I'm gonna show you guys how to do real briefly how to show you how to do Sidecar. But this is essentially how you do this on a Windows computer, guys, and it's uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's kind of cool. If you're into this, guys, I, I I think this Luna display is worth it. So real quick here, I want to show you how to set up Sidecar. So Apple created Sidecar so that the Macs can talk to each other. So you can have a main screen. My Mac mini is my main screen and it can, the secondary screen can be the iPad. So it's just, it's just like the Luna display. Uh, so it works pretty good guys, um, but there are some limitations. Let me show you how to go ahead and set it up here. We're gonna to go to, first we're gonna to go to the Apple icon here. Then we're gonna go down to where it says system settings. Now guys, uh, before you do this, make sure that your Mac mini, so this is my Mac mini and your iPad are on the same Wi-Fi. Make sure that they have the same SS, SSID name. So make sure they have the same SSID name, which is your Wi-Fi name. All right, so after you do that, we're gonna go to where it says displays. 
going to click on displays and then we can see this as a uh, down arrow button here i'm going to click on that and if they're on the same wi-fi this should pull up automatically you'll see where it says ipad so i'm gonna go down to where it says ipad that should bring it up here all right so now it's connected it's connected to the mac mini so it's it's this is going to be now it, it, this is the main and you can arrange this as you see fit but this is the main monitor here so this is the mac mini essentially and it's actually pretty quick guys and that's what i was saying sidecar is uh, actually uh pretty quick sidecar is uh is quick and there's no delays here all right and it's so if you want to walk around the house and use this you have you have no issues as walking around the house and using this all right so it's, this one says a lost connection there it just just regain collect, uh, connection all right so and the only thing is limited the only limitations with sidecar guys is some some of the older macs don't work on it and then obviously you can't make this a headless mode now if i wanted to go to starbucks or somewhere with it i'll have to bring another external monitor turn that monitor off in the back and then just have this on for this to be like a headless mode so it doesn't do any type of headless mode where it's just my mac mini and the ipad so that's the limitations with that but other than that i mean it's pretty it's pretty fast uh you can connect this hardwire as well but uh that's pretty much it with sidecar all right guys so that's it that is essentially how you set up your luna display device here guys this is a small device but it packs a huge punch guys so you can you can set up your mac mini with your ipad you can set up your mac mini with your macbook pro you can set up your mac mini with your macbook air or or your imac you can set up your windows with your ipad there's a whole bunch of different scenarios that you can set up with this little device here guys it's an amazing device I got it from Astropad for about $79. It's well worth it. Uh, hopefully in this video, I covered all my bases. I was very detailed to show you guys how to install it and set it up and get it going. If you have any questions, just please leave all your questions down below and I'll get to them in a timely fashion. But until then guys, that's pretty much it. You guys have a great day.